So in this example, we're going to factor a trinomial. And here we have a typical trinomial because we have three terms. We have a x squared term, we have a x term, which is the 5x, and we also have a constant, which is the positive 6. And this is an easier factoring trinomial example just because the constant in front of the x squared term is the number 1. There's an implied 1 even though you can't see it. So this method which I'm about to teach you only works when the constant in front of the x squared term is the number 1. So let's get started right away with this example. When you factor this trinomial you're always going to have two parentheses. So that's the first thing I like to do is just create two parentheses. And on the left side of each parentheses, you're just going to place an x. This is because our first term is an x squared term, and if you multiply these two x's together, x times x gives us our x squared. So now we have to figure out what goes on the right side of each parentheses. And the way we find this out is we need to pick two numbers that multiply and give us positive 6. And those two numbers also need to add or subtract and give us positive 5. So let's find this out just by listing every single number that multiply and give us positive 6. Well, we know that 1 times 6 gives us a positive 6. We know that negative 1 times negative 6 also gives us a positive 6. We know that 2 times 3 gives us a positive 6. And we also know that negative 2 times negative 3 also gives us a positive 6. So all these numbers multiply and give us a positive 6, but we also need to find the numbers that add or subtract to give us a positive 5. And if you take a look at these third set of numbers, the 2 and the 3, 2 plus 3 is certainly equal to positive 5. So these two numbers multiply and give us a positive 6, but also add or subtract to give us a positive 5. So these two numbers, positive 2 and positive 3, are the two numbers that we need to place inside the parentheses. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to place my positive 2 and positive 3 on the right side of the parentheses. And now we have completely factored the trinomial. 